Howdy. I'm demoing this guitar here. This is a uh, harmony guitar from the 70s. It's unusual in that this was one of the last guitars produced before they went out of business. And they, you can see in this guitar their attempts at trying to keep up with manufacturing costs and things like that. Notably, up until this point, <clears throat> harmonies were all solid wood. I believe this is all laminate. <clears throat> I think the sides and back may be laminate. I don't need to investigate. It almost doesn't matter. The top is also a laminate, and the very top is a laminate of what I believe would be called a wrap today. I think it's some kind of a... I think it's a picture of wood. This guitar should be a piece of crap. This guitar is uh, the kind of guitar that I've treated with disdain most of my life until uh, about a year or two ago when I got into parlor guitars and I found that uh, uh, virtually all of the inexpensive guitars are really good once you set them up and treat them like an expensive guitar. Um, this guitar is in incredible condition. It's like it never got played. Well, it never got played because, like most of these guitars, at the factory, it's all new, leaves the factory with high action, heavy strings, and everything still settling in. Well, <clears throat> after a year or so, this thing has settled into a point with those heavy strings maybe getting left in a car or a storage unit, and the, <clears throat> the action's too high. I got this with the action too high. And um, I uh, took all the frets out. This thing was a combination of mostly a bowed neck. This is a steel reinforced neck. Why did it bow? Because there's space in there. It can't fit exactly because of machining tolerances of the wood, not the steel, even the shearing of the steel. It's a steel bar in there anyway. Gee, it doesn't say there is. Ha ha. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. They all are. The earlier ones were. Anyway, um, after this thing settles in for a while, it takes up the slack. And that happened in the first year, and that was about 40 or 45 years ago. This thing has um, solidified. It solidified about 20 or 30 years ago. The wood is what you might think of as crystallized. It's never going to move anymore. So what I did was I pulled the frets, and when I leveled the fretboard to take the bow out, I biased it towards the back, so I recreated a good angle to hit the bridge. Now the bridge was still going to be a little high, so I shaved a little off of there. This, the saddle is also low. But the results... made a good guitar.
buzz because my fingers hit the strings. This guitar, if you look at it on reverb, you'd go, oh, that's one of those. I don't think I want it because it's just can't be that good. But <laughs> it is. It has its own sound. Sounds like a steam engine sitting in a 747 just watching those clouds roll by. Can't tell if it's sunshine or it's rain. Drella be sitting in a deck chair down in Arizona in a real life genuine authentic steam powered aerial plane. Oh, look at this. We've got a Zoom effect, the label is showing why this is cosmic. Uh, the camera decided to automatically zoom and it's right where it needs to be. Uh, anyway, it's an incredible little guitar. And if you start playing it, you just want to keep playing it. This would be something for a, a composer, a songwriter, or somebody who is a finger picker. It turned out to be an exceptional piece. Thank you.